to think about it. You see our skin? <laughs> May I try to go up for be like that woman? Good morning. Good morning. And you are? I'm Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, in a hall of them, yeah, something, yeah. All of them, yeah, something, yeah. All of them, yeah. You are who? Well, I'm the matriarch. Yes! Yes! She from all who flows. Yes. Wait, Maggie, hold up. How many of them flow? Uh, five from me. Blessed. And others have come. All blessed be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other people call me mom, but you know, I have five kids, four boys and one girl. So you create warriors, you are just sober. Well, we are very activists, you know, both myself and Billy, in our own way. We um, we are about social change, but we are also about doing the work. We're not really party politics. Mm -hmm. I'm a nationalist. I've never voted for any party. I believe in um, the vision, this vision for Jamaica to be that place where we can be proud to call home Amen. and so on and so it's about investing in the people and working with the people you know I'm a social worker I'm a community worker so I add that aspect to what we do yeah. sometimes we have women who are sitting out there like that like they used to tell us every now and then or we, even when I was here and I'd see women come back and they have that two weeks. And I remember a friend of mine saying, I'm not going to some mash up so when I'm going to come back. <laughs> you have to learn to balance things. And part of it that I was seeing that it wasn't that measure of community resources that they could work with, right? Because mm -hmm. here even a washerwoman had a washerwoman. Even if you have a washing machine, you still had the washerwoman. And the teacher would go off and the washerwoman would leave the string of lines over there. And then there's somebody else to share whichever. And then they reach to whichever one, one of these foreign one, countries. You know, independence, a sense of belonging. Um, so once you feel like you belong, then you want to live up to certain standards because so you don't want to let down your people, you know. So um, there's so much... Um, lack of attachment. Sometimes we don't even realize that when we don't have a stable, stable relationships in the in the lives of the children, that later on it's going to be hard for them to form positive attachments. Um, you know, so many times families are breaking down. In our family, we have a history of families sticking it out together. Billy's mm. parents were together for over sixty odd years. Ooh, yes. They died in their nineties. My grandparents were together for years, and um, you know my my parents, you know. So we are used to having that, that family example of family. Example. So we are like a big yard here, where you have multi generations living within the same space. Um, it's very interesting because sometimes there are communication issues, but we make sure that we teach our kids to communicate from mm -hmm. very early. Matter of fact, one of the things that people find amazing is that our babies talk so early and they are communicating in full sentences and they feel empowered, um, you know, to express themselves and know that they will be supported. Now, so see, it's, it's, that's the kind of environment we now, see, It's that thing, I was speaking with someone last night because we're looking at the dysfunction mm -hmm. in many families, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to an issue of communication. Mm -hmm. I remember one person still addressing herself as being the outside daughter. I said, mm -hmm. after this man has raised you for 40 some odd years, mm -hmm. yeah, but he's not my fault. Yeah, but he didn't make you feel that way. Mm -hmm. And you're still holding on to that piece. Mm -hmm. And it ascribes to the rest of the children who, yes, they come from those two, but mm -hmm. you're still the oldest. Yeah. And they know that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all these measures, like, Lord knows my family had its numbers and its yeah. measures. But when we look at the amount of splintered families mm -hmm. that we have. We need to heal. You know, mm -hmm. how can we begin to assist? So may I forget to talk to us, grown well, woman, because yeah, I don't begin, always get to talk to yeah, grown woman. We begin here. first with a conversation. You know, because that's where communication comes in, the conversation. But some of them know I sit there at the table, because nowadays everything you know, I text. I know, but that is where, you know, we know the older generation. We have a responsibility to engage them. You see, like how you're planning to bring a group of girls here. When they come here, it's going to be different. 
because we're going to engage them differently. So you engage the kids in things, you know, not just going to Disneyland, but maybe going to a park. So you go for a hike and you get hot together and stop and hydrate and, and spite you and whatever. And yes, you know, made memories. Somebody, yeah, somebody tired, so you have to hold up one <laughs> another <laughs> and you, yes, you sit and you eat together and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? And as Jamaicans too, sometimes when we're living abroad, we forget certain, we can still bring certain aspects of our culture. We can gather in the yard and tell Duffy stories. Hi. And we can sing folk songs and we can talk about the time, even though the kids are growing up in the city, you can still talk about relate to country so that when they see a box of milk, they know it come from a cow and not just from a supermarket Different. shelf. You know, it's the biggest you know? thing. I have friends mm -hmm. who are teachers now and they said it. All of a sudden the kids were like, what do you mean? That that, no, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it comes from a store in the box. The child absolutely was freaking out because the egg was coming from the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're removed from nature. And, and that's the false reality that they've embraced, you know. Um, in Jamaica, um, you're not so caught up about hurting my feelings. <laughs> Aye. Yeah, everybody's <clears throat> talking about, oh, you're hurting my feelings. You know, you learn. <laughs> That life is about give and take. You understand me? And um, stick and stones can break my bones, but words can. It can. Because when so your daddy tell you from day one, say, yeah. Oi, oi, ugly girl, come here. <laughs> and folks didn't, I tried to explain to someone mm -hmm. that because it was said in a certain way, it's probably a joke. there was no damage. There's no damage. He's probably teasing you. Maybe because your face stay, or your whatever. Oh, no, so sometimes yeah. the prettier them is. Mm -hmm. And make you balance out real mm -hmm. good so you don't get mm -hmm. caught up in a them thing. The hype, yes. Oh. It's very important, you know. So mm. we're gonna yeah. have these moments if you don't mind. We're gonna have some mama corners. No problem. Well me there. Yeah, Every no now and then because mm -hmm. and I'm finding this on a lot of the posts. One of the videos I did was specifically on stop domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Um uh DG Delrose Angel Delrose out of Buff Bay, Portland, the sergeant out there, re-uploaded the video on her profile. Over a million views. Mm -hmm. There are people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Children mm -hmm. who are not realizing that certain activity is not cute and what it mm -hmm. leads to. Mm -hmm. But it's the one thing they said, because my thing is, every time we see these shows, none of these people seem to have parents. Mm -hmm. All the young people, I'm sure there's nothing but young people, even if they're in their 20s, 30s, yeah. you lick 40 and no elders. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the, the thing is that I've noticed about um, like when I travel, um, like, you know, as soon as even the, the elders are put into nursing homes, so you already start to put yourself in a nursing home to extricate yourself from society. Mm -hmm. Whereas with us, I was telling you, this is a multi-generational home. Mm -hmm. So we, Billy brought his parents. Well, his parents used to live here, and then after a while, they were traveling back and forth to Canada okay. Okay. part of the year, because, you know, until they were going to go up to Canada, because they originally came from Canada to go into a home. Ah. But Billy, being born here, and seeing the Jamaican situation, couldn't bear to know that they were in a home. And so we decided that the home will be here gotcha. with the family. So we'd have our regular routines, you know, mineral bath on a Thursday. You'd see Grandpa pushing his um, walker and his great-grandchild is sitting on the walker Can I, being see? pushed and yes, so on. Father. Yes, you yes, know? yes. So um, the children are learning about aging. They're learning about tolerance. They're learning that, you know, the elderly can't take the rambunctiousness of kids, you know. Um, even the other day, my <laughs> granddaughter, Naya, was pretending to be an old woman and she had her stick. <laughs> you know, we, so you can imagine you now. So people like that, they will empathize with other people. They will tell you, see, and you understand. Yeah, yeah. Cause we had a lady who said, um, specifically on another video that we did about patois, mm -hmm. um, that it is essential, especially for the elderly mm -hmm. who are experiencing dementia or Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. I had spoke to one lady. She said. She said her grandmother had been in England for some 50 years, but she would not respond to you unless you spoke to her in Patois. Because she, but you see, 
what happened is they go back to their early memories. Um, and so even a lot of things happen, abuse happens because people don't understand. Um, my father-in-law, he had dementia, mm -hmm. found out that coconut oil helps. So, uh, you know, we, they had been pushing this vegetable oil on us and corn oil and trying to tell us that coconut oil no good. We never used to have so much dementia. So uh -huh. the coconut oil I found was what helped me to preserve. Now, when bring back what you lost. Right, but preserve. But it preserve what you have. Like this young man was going to have me, I forgot to search for jackfruit right. now. <laughs> I found out too that sometimes, it's you see, when I went, because I work with people with disabilities, even though I didn't know a lot about Alzheimer and dementia, mm -hmm. I was able to realize that his attention span was short. And if you can't concentrate for three minutes, you ain't going to learn nothing. Mm -hmm. So he was in a loop. He would never be able to come out of his room in the mornings because he's always packing and unpacking his drawer. Ah, because okay. he needs to know what is in it. So he packs it neatly and he closes it and then he wonders what's in this drawer. Gotcha. So gotcha. what we decide, you know what? We're going to label things. So we label pants and socks and things, this and that and that, so on and so on and so on. Yes. Okay. Go into and his world helps. for a moment. Yes. yes. A little thing like in the morning, we say, good morning, what a beautiful day in Jamaica. Ah, that you don't know sometimes where yes, you wake up, where yes, you are, especially yes, if you yes. have lived different places. Yes, yes. You know? Yes. So there's a, so as a family, we've learned our coping thing, and then I found that he used to love music. So music, when he has music, it lessens the anxiety. Because being a man, he was a journalist, so communication was his thing, and he was able to explain to me that he felt that he was being in a box. Okay. So what that, that's what the dementia does. It has you in a box and you cannot get out of the box. It doesn't mean you're less smart, but it's affecting your memory. It's affecting so many things. But when he's listening to music, he relaxes because he's singing along, he's tapping along, and as long as he has his music, he's okay. He's okay, you know, and then what God and and then you know what was good is that he never forgot me and my husband. Okay, points so of we, yes. yes, so we were his points of references. So um, so it was a very humbling experience. Um, dealing with that, you can imagine he got chicken gunya, <laughs> and we had to nurse a ninety-year-old man. Through chicken gunya, a 90 year old with dementia. What is chicken gunya? Oh, that is a viral this thing from mosquitoes. It came up from Africa, oh. um, came up through the Caribbean and came here. Trust me, Jamaica got scared. And that is when you know that things can, you can have pandemic. Uh -huh. Because most people in Jamaica were walking funny because it pain you up. Chicken gunya means bent up. So just to climb my stairs, young people, oh, oh, oh my God, it was awful. And when an elderly man with dementia gets that, it took a lot of care. That's a lot of A lot of work. Within. And we had to do what we have to do. Well, because we are a large family and we communicate. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the issue you now, coming back to the old thing about communication. Some people take on the burden and them keep it to themselves. Aye. Yes, And yes. then it's not until them can't manage no more that them cuss because the other ones. And the others look and say, she can manage. So them not think, maybe them send a little money and so on, but you haven't communicated, you haven't sat, you haven't discussed the issue. Or how we're going to deal with it, that, 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 understand these things. And Hold it up, goes yeah. My love, you say? <laughs> sorry for my sweaty arm, That's but my all love right. you. That's all because right. you're giving me... I only have one shot. Mm -hmm. Both parents have been gone a while. What you're giving me and allowing me to share with others is they can more than see themselves. They can see solutions. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I need to come back and see you at least well, once a, a week. I'm a parent trainer. Ah, oh, <laughs> see? See? 
<laughs> See, a therapy, we're not getting to know. As well. Oi, we're not going to send you some money to Jam Nature for the support but situation. Anyway, um, <laughs> I did start by saying I really didn't know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> here, yeah. But here we are. Here We've we rambled are. along. And, we're... and it's been absolutely beautiful. And I. <laughs> I got blessed today. Yeah. Wait, may I take a picture? So no. <laughs> I got blessed today. You got blessed today. Gymnasia, whether it's for the surf, whether it's for the music, here in Bull Bay yes. or in Ocho Rios, websites. Um, you look from gymnasiasurf.com. That's it. <laughs> I remember, sir. Yeah. Matriarchs and patriarchs, family is everything. Everything. Give thanks. You're welcome. I, oh man, you bless me today. Thank you. I'm glad to come across here after my jelly. Appreciate so, no later. It.